and welcome to your gold market update for today thursday the 5th of january 2023 i hope you're well mike smith senior analyst go markets here to lead you around what's happening in markets today let's have a look at what's coming across the news we saw the u.s market snap a two-day losing streak to close higher overnight there was a pullback mid-session after the fomc minutes were released but it returned to positive territory subsequently we do have some key data coming out over the next couple of days, which may just make markets a little choppy until that comes out. US futures are near neutral in early Asian trading with that significant data that's due. And Asian indices are slightly higher following that US lead. The ASX is doing OK again, up around about 0.6%. European equity futures are also pointing to a slightly higher open. In the FX world, we see the US dollar index trading in a range just above its seven months lows. It is mixed in Asia, depending on the currency pair that you're looking at. And that choppy start to the FX year looks as though it's continuing today. In terms of commodities, we're seeing gold edging higher yet again, and now over 1850 and eyeing a key level at 1875. Copper did look weak yesterday and breached the support at 375. It'll be interesting to see where that ends up today to see if there's further selling apparent. And oil has dropped again and is now close to testing 2022 lows. Bitcoin remains below 17,000 and trades towards the middle of the current range that it's been in for now a couple of weeks. And we do have some global services PMI data due today, but most eyes will be on that US jobs data, which is out tonight. We've got ADP report and the weekly jobs tonight. And then we've got the non-farm payrolls and monthly employment numbers coming out of the US tomorrow. This is particularly relevant in light of the comments made in those FOMC minutes, which referenced the high or the positive employment picture being conducive to continuing to be aggressive in interest rate hikes. A couple of charts that have caught our eye this morning. We referenced Domino's Pizza yesterday as a chart of the day and you can see it has moved higher in today's session above that key 6850 level to bring it back into this range that we referenced with the potential to move up to 73 in the medium term. Uh, that's around about 45 to 5% to the upside after today's gap on open of around about a dollar from yesterday's close. But nevertheless, looks as though it could be in relatively positive territory. Certainly, uh, the cheaper price of supplies that go on top of pizzas is contributing to this. In the FX world, we're seeing the US yen trade really between this 132.60 level and 130.72 on the daily chart. So around about 180 pips. Big movement again yesterday. As I said, very choppy start to the year. But we are seeing some weakness this morning. If we look at a short term chart, we have got a rounded top type of formation that stopped at that resistance level and could be starting to tip over. We'd sort of get interested in this if it breached this level here at around about 130.183. 132 was interesting and we are testing that at the moment. So we're looking for a breach of that pivot low at 131.81. If we get that, then we could see it move down fairly significantly in the first instance, possibly around about 50 pips down at 131.31. But ultimately, if we do get some major selling pressure perhaps down to 131 which would be around about the 80 pip level go perhaps to keep an eye on today trade safe and we'll see you again soon bye bye for now